Good morning. I'm Immigration Officer Jasmine, and I'll be conducting your interview today. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing good, officer. How about you? I'm doing well, too, and thank you. Please come in, and feel free to put your belongings next to your chair. Thank you. Can I have your green card, appointment notice, and driver's license or state-issued ID? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Before we start your interview, I need to swear you in. Can you stand up and raise your right hand, please? Sure, officer. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. You can put your hand down and have a seat, please. Thank you. First, do you have any physical or developmental disabilities or mental impairments that prevent you from demonstrating your knowledge and understanding of the English language? No, I don't. Well, do you have any questions before we start the interview? No, I don't have questions. Well, let's review your application form to ensure all the information is correct. Can you please tell me your current legal name? Omar Adamos. Do you have any nicknames or other names you use? No, I don't. Would you like to legally change your name? Because you have the option to change it today. No, I don't want to change my name. And why are you eligible to become a U.S. citizen? I'm over 18 years old, I have been a permanent resident for the past five years, and have no special circumstances. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? February 11th, 2019. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I would like to vote in local and federal elections. I'll be eligible for federal jobs and travel without these restrictions. Can you confirm the last four digits of your social security number? 968-528552. What is your date of birth? June 12, 1998. What country were you born in? I was born in Greece. And you are still a citizen of that country, right? Yes, I am. Are one or both of your parents U.S. citizens? Neither of my parents are citizens. What is the best contact number to reach you? 703-888-6117 What is your email address? Adamos.om at Outlook.com What is your current address? 76 Fort Darling Road, Richmond, Virginia, 23237. And how long have you lived there? Since August 2020. What's your previous address? 8891 Battlefield Park Road, Richmond, Virginia, 23231. Well, what is your current marital status? Single. Have you ever been married? No, I have not. Are you currently employed? Yes, I am. And where do you work? I'm a dental assistant at HGD Hospital in Richmond, Virginia. How long have you been working there? About three years. Great. Have you taken a trip outside the United States in the last five years? Yes, I have. How many days that you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? 60 days. Where was the last trip? 
to Cancun, Mexico. And when? From June 15th, 2022, and came back on June 25th of the same year. What was the purpose of your last trip? Vacation with my coworkers. Have any of your trips outside the United States been longer than six months? No. Have you traveled internationally since you submitted your application? No, I have not. All right. Let's go over some questions from part 12 of the N-400 application then. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, never. Do you owe late taxes? No, I don't. Do you always pay your taxes on time? Yes, I do. And do you have your 2021 tax transcripts with you? Yes, I do have a 2021 tax transcript. Can I see it, please? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you ever sign up to vote in the United States? No, never. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated the Communist Party or a terrorist organization? No, I have not. Have you ever served in U.S. Armed Forces? No, I have not. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No, never. Did you ever force someone to have sex? No, never. Were you ever a member of a military unit? No, never. Were you ever a soldier, worker, or helper in a prison or jail? No, never. Did you ever sell, give, or help someone get weapons? No, never. Did you ever break the law, help someone break the law, or try to break the law, but were not arrested? No, never. Do you support the Constitution and form of government in the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Do you know what an oath of allegiance to the United States means? Yes, I do. It is a promise of loyalty to the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing to. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. If the law requires are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Excellent. Have you studied for the civics test? Yes, I have studied since submitted N-400 form. I will ask you up to 10, and you must answer six questions correctly to pass the civics test portion. First question. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. That's correct. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Are Democratic and Republican. Great. Why do the colonists fight the British? Because they didn't have self-government. Good. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. Great. 
What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Last question. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights movement. Excellent. You got more than six questions correct, so you passed the civics test portion. Congratulations. We are now going to move on to the English reading and writing portions. I'm going to show you a sentence on the screen, and I want you to read it back to me. What was the first capital of the United States? Great. Now listen carefully to this sentence that I'll say, and I want you to write it down on the tablet. New York City was the first capital of the United States. Do you need that repeated? Yes, please, officer. New York City was the first capital of the United States. Great. You passed the English reading and writing test, too. Congratulations. You've passed all the tests and met all the requirements. Thank you. Now, please take a look at your application on the tablet and make sure everything is accurate and up to date. And you will go ahead and sign and date on the bottom. Yes, everything is right. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So I will be submitting your application for approval. You should hear from USCIS within the next two weeks for your oath ceremony. And here is a copy of your test result, your green card, and your ID. Thank you. So do you have any questions for me? No, I don't have any questions so far. Thank you. You are welcome. Congratulations again. Thank you again, officer.